Okay, the next cheese is Sark. Again, trying to keep in with the Isles of Guernsey. Um, one of the islands is called Sark. So we settled on that. Um, it is one of the cheese makers. He does make cheese, this better case cheese for himself as well using different milk. It is one of his um, well-known cheeses, if you will. There you go. I don't know if you can see, oops. There are some little bit of holes that are in there. Those are called mechanical holes. And because this cheese is not pressed, it is just allowed to drain on its own. Um, not everything knits together. So those are what are called mechanical holes. And that is acceptable as far as into a contest. So uh, this cheese is really buttery. It's mild and has a slight acid flavor. So you, I saw that the description is this uh, Boudicca's uh, like triple crown. Can you yes. explain that because a little bit? It has all that extra fat in there from the Guernseys. So uh, with all this uh, tangy, uh, buttery flavor, uh, I, I wanted to bring in something a little bit more uh, savory with it. So I chose uh, some prosciutto. Uh, so these are uh, Davina grilled olives and uh, a little bit of petite toast and to wash it down a little bit, a daytime IPA, something a little light, but it has just enough hops in there to kind of kick up the uh, uh, spiciness in there. So, so that's a direction that I took, um, you know, giving it a chance to have a little bit more of a, a lunchtime feel or a bigger snack. I thought it could really hold up to it. And I really just, you know, looking uh, you know, at it, it's, it's just such a beautiful uh, creamy cheese. You know, both of these two are just uh, excellent and uh, creaminess and butter. It's another one that melts quite well too. Um, yeah. And on a sandwich is very good. Yeah, I could see that. And I like the tanginess. There's just enough in there to, to give it a little bit of a kick without being overly powerful or overly tangy. But it's really nice, just a great little cheese. 